MCC recently announced the teams for the 23rd Minecraft Championship. The Red Rabbits team features Tommy in it, CPK, Crank, Gameplays and Shovel, with a total of 8 MCC wins collectively, which is a very promising start for the event. This team features Tommy, who is an incredibly skillful player, as well as CPK, who is incredibly good and incredibly consistent. The Orange Ocelots has Quig in the Littlewood, Era in Finster, with a collective total of 5 crowns. Despite the lower crown total, the team does have Quig, who is one of the best players in the championship. The Yellow Yaks has Sapnap, George Not Found, Elena, EXE, and Gumi, with a total of seven crowns, with five of them being from Sapnap alone. Lime Llamas features Illumina, Solidarity, Good Times with Scar, and Cub Fan, bringing a total of three crowns. Although, with Illumina consistently being a top 10 player, they're definitely a team to look out for. The Green Geckos harbors Dream, Foolish Gamers, Tina Kitten, and Connor Eats Pants. With Dream in the roster, this could be the moment for Foolish and Tina to shine, especially since we haven't seen too much from them yet. Dream is the only player to have a cannon win with four crowns in total. Cyan Coyotes has Jojo Solos, False Symmetry, Palescent Moon, and Smajor with a total of seven crowns. I honestly believe this event could be Jojo's time to shine. She's consistently a top 10 player and alongside Scott also being a very consistently good player as well as Pearl and False Symmetry who are inconsistent with their scorings but still have amazing potential. Cyan, Cyan could win this to be completely honest. Ax Aqua Axolotl. Aqua Axolotl. Aqua Aqua Axolotls gives us puns, Bad Boy Halo, Sylvie, and Sniffer. With a total of four crowns, each player having one crown, Aqua is also a very formidable team. Obviously, puns being another consistent top 10 player alongside Sylvie, who has made some great improvements in the past few MC MCCs, going from a top 30 player straight to a top 20. Bad and Sniffrush also have good potential, although they haven't had a lot of chance to show this off. Next up is Blue Bats with SB737 Sneak Snag. Captain Sparkles and Kara Corvus. With the captain recently breaking his curse, this team having four crowns between them makes them a force to be reckoned with. SB having placed consistently in top 15 in the most recent MCCs, as well as Captain Sparkles, another amazing player who might have been possibly discouraged by his frequent losses through MCC. And thanks to his recent win, this may invigorate him even further. Then Purple Pandas starring the GOAT, Pizza Hut, along with Filza, Smallish Beans, and G Nelly, with an astounding total of eight collective wins. Obviously, Pete's one of the best MCC players, staying in the top five individual scorings for the entirety of the first season. With Filza and Smallish Beans by his side, both inconsistent but valuable players, they could easily prove their worth. And finally, Pink Parrots, with Wilbur, Soot, Ranbu, Amesy, and Blushy. Although Wilbur is the only player here to have won a canon event so far, the other players are definitely not to be underestimated. Between Rambu's consistent and improving skill, Amesy placing 16th individually in MCC Pride 2022, and Blushy's incredible and iconic 6 block extension in MCC Rising leading to that team's victory. Come on! They hit me! They hit me! They hit me! Go! 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 Yes! Let's go! Pink is not a team you want to miss. Now, if you were to rank these teams based solely on their number of crowns, the placings would look something like this. It's not too far off how I imagine it going, but there are definitely some key teams placed a bit lower than they'll probably play, mainly Pink Parrots, like I mentioned. To make it clear, I'm not a professional Minecraft player, nor have I intensely studied MCC for the past two years, but either way, here are my personal predictions for how the event's gonna go. Now, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments, especially if you're more experienced with uh, ranking MCC players. And I'll be honest, <laughs> I hated making this list. All these teams are so crazily stacked. It honestly could be anyone's game. I don't I don't even know who to root for, man. MCC 23 is gonna be insane. I think I'll probably be watching Cyan Coyotes though. I'm very excited for Jojo to show her worth. And thank you for watching. And make sure to subscribe for quick and easy Minecraft news.